The soft-boiled detective contains content that may be alarming or upsetting to some listeners. There are depictions of violence and murder, frank portrayals of sexuality, discussions of abuse and mental illness, and adult language. Episodes may contain sudden gunshot sounds. Whenever you're feeling ready and able, we hope you'll join us. Tiffany, I'd like to introduce you to Nova Sagittari. They're an attorney friend of Hans. Hi! It's nice to meet you. Hans has told me so much about you, HBD. He him, right? Mm-hmm. Hello, Tiffany! It's a pleasure to meet you. May I ask your pronouns? She, her. Good to know. They, them. Here, it's on my card, too. Hans told me about your unique situation, Tiffany. He thought I'd be the right person for the job. Hans wasn't wrong. Nova looked small and cuddly, but they were a firecracker. They were the only lawyer brave enough to take down the Mafia, the Triad, and the Britneys. Um, who is he? Listen, Nova, what is it you think you can do for me? Haha! -ha! I plan to get you protection. You just need to tell me some important details. I can record what you say for court. Oh, mm -mm, no, 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 no. I am not putting my neck on the chopping block for this. The Tian Lu want you dead, Tiffany. They think you betrayed them. Hmm, if that's true, you should talk to us. Who was there with you the night you cremated Atlan? It was Jimmy the Chair. How did he even get such a stupid name? Hmm, he's part of the set. The Tian Lu's hit squad. Jimmy the Chair, Pesci the Hot Plate, Mickey the Spoon, Ciro the Fork, Butter the Knife. The Ottoman. Okay, I get it. Jimmy was the one who made sure I burned Atlan's body. I didn't ask questions. I figured it was triad business and kept my nose out of it. Hmm, but they're scared you'll talk. I don't even know what they think that would do. I barely know anything. You know enough to help launch an investigation. Who even was this Atlan guy? I had never seen him before. He was an old friend of mine. We've been friends since elementary school, and then he joined the Tianlu. Why? I'm sure he was undercover, trying to uncover some scheme. Oh. I'm sorry. I had no idea who he was when I cremated him. Whoa-hoo! Hi, Nova! Hi, Hans! How is the missus? Oh, great! She just started her new job as a garbage designer. Oh, congratulations to her. Oh, thank you. Oh, and Miss Coffindapper, I have made a room for you. You will be staying here with HBD for your safety. In HBD's office? It's also my apartment. <sighs> great. Her body language told me she didn't mean that great. She was disappointed in my personal lodging space. I don't blame her. A classy lady like her is probably used to the best. Please stop. That's my wife. She was out with some friends tonight. She wants me to pick her up from the club. Everything okie dokie? No, I don't think so. She's at Nexus and the Sartinis arrived. She doesn't feel safe there. She wants to go get pesto cookies instead. Ooh, those are my favorites. Who are the Sartinis? The Sartini family is one of the biggest crime families in my city. They're second only to the Tianlu. We have to go get her! I'm going with you. I'm not passing up a chance to catch a Sartini with their pants down. I'm going to. You should stay here. I'm not staying here by myself. Hans could stay with you. Yeah, that's worse. I'm coming with you. Oh, but wait, bringing you with Wonderful. me would- Wonderful! We will all be able to get pesto cookies! Let's take my car! We arrived at the club. Above the door was a sign that read Nexus, but below it was something written in Hanzu that I couldn't understand. It's the club name. Do you seriously not know any Mandarin? There's a bouncer butt at the door. Pay fee to enter. Be paid. 
Have an excellent time. There is booze and legal drugs. Here are your complimentary softwave earbuds. Hmm? Oh, those are super cool. Those are earbuds that let you control how loudly you hear the music. It makes it easier to talk when you're inside. The club was, as the kids say, bumpin'. It was filled wall to wall with dancers, body odor filling the air, drugs, hallucinogens, and other substances being shared with reckless abandon. Pretty typical for a club. Mm -hmm. Oh, there! There's Isla! Isla! Over here, honey! Coming. Oh, great! We already found her! Looks like we can leave, yes? To go get the cookies? You four go on ahead. I'm going to see if I can find Sartini. <laughs> no. If you're staying, I'm staying. What if you need backup? You're like four foot tall. What are you going to do? Scurry under their feet and trip them? I'm four foot six, thank you very much. Don't you want to get your wife and go home? Hans can drive me home. What's going on? Staking out a mafioso. Oh, no, 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 not again. I want you home with me. I'll stake out the place until I see one of the sartinis. Well, one of them just came in not that long ago. He was wearing a white suit and a big white hat. How did you know they were a sartini? He came in shouting, Everyone bow down, Bonifacio Sartini is here. Oh. Bonifacio. After the death of his brothers, he became the next in line to take over the Sartini family from Carmine Sartini. I'm taking this one home. You three can deal with this alone. Understood. Aw, but honey... I will be the backup. I'll go watch from the bar. Thanks, Hans. So, what do we do? Just stand here? What do people do in a club? Drink. Hmm, that would be reckless. We could dance. Very well. Dance with me. Ugh, fine. Tiffany took hold of my hand as we made our way to the dance floor. She was graceful on her feet. It had been a long time since I danced with someone like this. How long has it been? Oh, uh, hmm? How long since you've been dancing? Uh, three years ago. After, uh... You got dumped? At, well, kinda? Yeah, I get it. I've been dumped a ton. Who would want to end a relationship with you? Have you met me? Well, yeah. You're intelligent, funny, and attractive. The full package. Oh, uh, thanks. Tiffany? Jesus! Francesca, what are you doing here? I came to see if maybe you were out clubbing. I looked in all the usual places you go to and then started trying bars. I've been worried sick. Right, sorry about that. It's complicated. Complicated? How? Francesca Du, daughter of the head of the Tian Lu. Chinese-American female, approximately 5'1 with a small build. Olive skin tone. She's young, mostly in her early 20s. She has long black hair and dark brown eyes. What? Ignore him. How does he know my name? You should go home. It's not safe here. Why isn't it safe? The, the Sartinis own this club. Doesn't your mom, like, hate the Sartinis? I'm sure they'd target you. I doubt it. Family's off-limits. They'd be signing their own death sentence. Honor among thieves. Tiffany, you should come home. I can't. What's going on? Are you in danger? Kinda. Why didn't you tell me? I'll have Mama help you That and won't can... work. Why not? Just trust me, it won't. Does it involve the Sartini somehow? Mama hates them. She'll help you, no sweat. I'm afraid we can't explain right now, Ms. Dew. Does it have something to do with Bonifacio? No. No, not at all. Maybe. Okay, maybe. Listen, HPD is just hot on his trail, and we're trying to find him. He's right over there. What? Francesca pointed to Bonifacio Sartini himself. Like Xyla had said, he wore a large white coat and a white hat. He strutted around the club with turvid dropian deportment. Wait a second. Is this a sting? Are you helping this guy take him down? Yeah, I guess. Oh my god! 
I have always wanted to help stop someone from the Mafia. Especially the Sartinis. Okay, but maybe you should, like, go home. Hey, Francesca! Is that you? Ooh, looks like he recognized me. But maybe this is what you need to get you in. No, that is a bad idea. Come on, Tiff. Let's go. We can do this, girl power style. Francesca, wait. Oh, fuck. HPD, you stay here. Let me deal with this. What if you get Oh my in god, it's fine. Just stay here. Bonifacio! Francesca! Francesca's cute friend. So nice to see you. Why is the little princess of the Tian Lu at my club? <laughs> I didn't see your name on it. I just bought it. It will soon. Oh. Who's your friend? Tiffany. Very nice to meet you, Tiffany. Uh, don't kiss my hand. How about we go up to my <clears throat> VIP room? I'd like to have a private audience with you. That's okay. That would be great. Lead the way. What are you doing? Just follow my lead. We got this. I swear to God, if I die, I will murder you. HBD, where's Tiffany? She's following Bonifacio to the VIP lounge. And you are worried? Mm-hmm. What do you think she's planning? To uh, kill him? That would be illegal. Attack him? That would be assault. Maybe she's going to uh, sleep with him? Uh, she's going to get herself killed. And this is the VIP section. What do you think? Fancy, right? It is nice. It's ugly. Why is there a bed in here? To get comfortable on. Gross. I mean having sex. Yeah, we got it. Putting the hot dog in the donut. Please don't word it like that. How about you two get out of those cute outfits? Yeah, no thanks. I thought we came here to talk. I didn't. I knew it was either going to be sex or murder. I think murder would have been more merciful. Oh, you're so cute when you pretend to be disgusted. You are pretending, right? No. Thank you for the offer, but we have to pass. All right then, little princess. I was going to do this part after we got <clears throat> physically acquainted, but no is no. Thank you. But now it's time to enact our plan. Go, Tiffany! What? Go! What's happening? I don't know. I wasn't briefed on this. This is the plan! Attack! That was your plan? Yes? So, I guess I'll get to my own plan of taking Arshin Du's darling daughter hostage. What? I send Mommy Dearest an ear or a finger, you know, to get the message across that I mean business. She pays me to get you back, and I get some sense of justice. What about me? Are you related to anyone important? No. Then I'm just gonna kill you. God damn it, figures. Hey! Hey, let's talk this out. Oh, now you want to talk it out. Uh, I mean, family is off limits, remember? That's something your mother doesn't care about. Why should I? Tiffany, let's get out of here. What the hell are you doing here? Bonifacio Sartini had his gun aimed at Francesca and Tiffany. I made it just in time. Uh, what? The room had told me that Bonifacio was a man of... Gaudy taste. Why is everyone insulting this room? He then turned his gun on me. Get out of here! I'm Detective HBD. I'm here to take you in. <laughs> Are you shitting me, HBD? I've heard of you. You have? Yeah, from that shitbag Atlan. You knew Atlan? Well, little princess. Looks like this is fortuitous timing. Atlan? H.P.D.'s friend, was one of your mommy's henchmen. So? 
He was also the son of a bitch who murdered my brothers, Lazaro and Faustino. What? You didn't know, pretty boy? HBD, are you okay? I was stunned. Trapped in place. Atlan was a murderer? Shit, HBD, get down! <laughs> <laughs> He's getting away. Just let him go. Focus on your friend. I couldn't move. The shock was too much. Atlan assassinated two rival gangsters. HBD? I can't see Bonifacio for all the chaos out there. I think we've already lost him. He was a murderer. We should get you home. HBD, are you okay? No. You want a drink? Lemonade Moscato, please. Were you going to spend the night with Bonifacio? Huh? Oh, no. I was just going to be murdered. Nothing too scandalous. You know, the... Sartinis are gonna want you dead now, too. They can join the club. Tiffany. Right, sorry. Hey, you're from Alaska, right? Maybe we could order from Henri's Great Alaskan Restaurant tonight. Yeah. I'll order. Let's get the mixed berry cobbler. It reminds me of home. Yeah, sure. Jimmy the chair. Yes, Madam Du. Tsai Fei, introduce yourself. I'm Tsai Fei. I'm Mrs. Du's personal bodyguard. Cool. Tsai Fei will be helping you. What? Why? I thought I was going to be working with the Ottoman. He'll be working with the icebox. I thought the icebox was in the cooler. I want you to deal with the detective. I can deal with him on my own. <laughs> then why is he still alive? Pesci messed me up. Then why didn't you kill Pesci? Huh? Leave. You have a lot of work ahead of you. Yes, Madam Do. Yes, Auntie Arshin. This has been The Soft Boiled Detective. Written, directed, and produced by Cat Walker Shea. Music composed by Mike Fermansky. And sound designed by Silent Bite Studio. Starring the voices of... B.K. Dawson as HBD and Hans. Cat Walker Shea as Tiffany and Bouncerbot. Sox Whitmore as Nova. Tara Ward, or Mish Arts, as Zyla. Jade V. Robinson as Francesca. Gondre Lewis as Bonifacio. Lucia Shu as Arshin. Nathan Waltering as Jimmy the Chair. Roshni Lumeno as Saife. Thank you for listening, and stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you for tuning in to The Soft Boiled Detective. We want to give a special shout out to our patrons on Patreon. Aries Jimenez, Liza, Ashley Kraft, Jessica Maroney, Casper Oliver, and Apocalypse Cowboy. Thank you so much for making this show possible.